Guess who it is? The one and only uh, Guillaume Balaguer, who's been on the <laughs> front lines of this whole story. Look at him taking a sip. Yeah, uh, you burned it, my friend. <laughs> Guillaume, um, you, you're all over this story. What can you tell us? What's the latest on Mbappe? It's not a surprise to many, of course, that uh, he's made it to Real Madrid, but it had to happen. It had to be agreed. It had to be stamped on, even though he hasn't been signed yet. Or that's what I've been told, that that will happen. And perhaps with photographs and everything else, uh, an announcement will take place when PSG and Real Madrid don't meet in the Champions League. I think it's a, a requirement of Mbappé. He didn't want it to rub it in to, um, to PSG fans and, and directors. But I remember last, talk, uh, last time I talked to you, Suzanne, and, and all of you, we were saying that on the 13th, this is a Tuesday, the day before the Real Sociedad first leg, last 16 game, he had already met uh, Nacional Kelaifi and had already said to the uh, boss of PSG that he was leaving. He said more. He said actually that uh, Real Madrid was going to be his next team. Everything had been agreed, not very quickly, not from that point on, but certainly has been negotiated for a while. And uh, what seems to have happened is that his um, wages, if you like, will be 14, 15 million euros net. That's about more or less the same in, in dollars. But his um, sign-on fee spread in the five years of his contract will be around 30 million euros, 30 million dollars a year. So around 45 uh, million euros that he will be earning every year, which puts him, of course, ahead of everybody else in the uh, in the uh, list of earners at Real Madrid. You know how many people are complaining about that? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, zero. <laughs> Guillaume, uh, I'm surprised to hear that the image rights issue was resolved uh, so quickly. This has been a big sticking point for a lot of Real Madrid fans and a lot of the players that go play for, um, for Real Madrid. Was that... Was it just because it's killing Mbappe? Was that difficult to negotiate? I'm shocked by this, to be honest. Well, you should be shocked, first of all, by the fact that his wages have been reduced drastically. I think uh, the figure that PSG used in that uh, statement that he sent to, uh, to the media when, to announce, basically, unofficially, officially, that Mbappe was leaving, is that he was going to release 200 million euros a year. So he's not going to be earning all that at Real Madrid, certainly not. Uh, it sounds like a fourth of it, plus, as you said, image rights, the details of which we need to still find out. But it seems like it's quite similar. Uh, this is the information I've been given. It's quite similar to the deal that he had, uh, Real Madrid had with Beckham. They share the image rights. He's very, very big on it, as you know. He negotiated uh, personally his own image rights with the national side. PSG, of course, uh, handed over a lot of it to him. But we're talking about Real Madrid. These are two big brands that will certainly help each other. And the percentage of, uh, of which, in terms of image rights, we will find out. Also bonuses and more detail. But just the basic of it is that um, he's earning a, a modest 14, 50 million euros, dollars more or less. But of course, the sign-on fee is going to be spread in five years, which makes the whole thing a little bit more lucrative. He's really going to have to tighten his belt, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he'll be on a little bit of a budget. Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the requirements or demands, if you will, from Kylian Mbappe was that he, he would be able to play in the Olympics. And we saw Neymar do this a few years back in, in Brazil. Uh, can we assume that that part has been worked out by virtue of this deal almost being done? It's a, it's a very good question to actually be asked to Real Madrid, and I'll do that after I talk to you, because uh, we assume that that's the case. I know Real Madrid are not really talking of, officially about the whole thing until it becomes official, but uh, I don't see that to be a stumbling block, uh, because if there was a big star of Real Madrid that wanted to do that as well, and none of it has been put forward, none of it, I'm talking Spanish, uh, will actually want to be in the Olympic Games, Spain will be there, uh, but say the likes of Sergio Ramos, who wants to finish his career with that kind of thing. He was still a Real Madrid. They wouldn't put any problem. With Mbappé, I, I presume it's the same. It is an Olympic Games that are important to Mbappé, so I, I imagine he will be the captain of that French national side. Uh, Guillaume, uh, I have to ask, uh, does this make La Liga a one-team league now with all the troubles that Barcelona are in financially, Xavi leaving at the end of the season? How important is it to get that next appointment right? And what does Barcelona do in the wake of...
the rich getting richer in the sense of Real Madrid getting Mbappe. Oh, you troubled my collections. <laughs> yeah, you seem really hurt to have to answer this question. <laughs> All right, yes. If you look at the other teams, you've got a Barcelona that will continue struggling financially even more than they are admitting at the moment. And whoever is the manager next, Roberto De Serbia, whoever it is, they're going to have to rebuild or at least build, build um, with not enough to actually compete with a team that will have Vinicius, Mbappé, Bellingham, etc. It puts things in perspective. If Girona were the competitors this year, the only one you can hope that actually get, can get close to Real Madrid is Atletico Madrid. But if you go back in history, what happened to the Galacticos? They weren't the dominating force that people expected. Yes, they won the league once, twice, but in any case, it wasn't just a, a force that completely dominated an era. Football is funny that way. Uh, but you have to say that what Ancelotti is building is a team that is solid, that defends well, with everybody thinking the same way. When they have to uh, be structured, they are, and it's difficult to uh, not just beat them, but to actually uh, stop them scoring goals. So I'm trying to say that it's not going to be a one-team league, but it's from struggling here. <laughs> Guillaume, let's, you really stretched there, dude. <laughs> let's, uh, let's play a game. Finish this sentence for me. Real Madrid signing Kylian Mbappé is the biggest signing in world football since? Cristiano Ronaldo, we signed that. that. That's 2008-9. Uh, what has happened bigger than that? I mean, since Mbappé went from Monaco to PSG, that, that he wasn't that kind of player yet. So I'm struggling to find anybody of that caliber. So in, since Inter Miami, we sign Messi, maybe. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Well, Guillaume, uh, we'll, we'll let you get back to your well-earned beverage. What is that, by the way? Is that like an iced latte situation? What have we got here? It's a, it's a, it's a warm latte for a day that is so, so autumn-like. I'm in Napoli. You can hear the noises of the uh, sirens just going around. And, uh, and that's, yeah, that's where I am in, in Napoli, of course, because tomorrow we've got a big game. Big game. Napoli, Barcelona. Big game. Um, Guillaume, thank you so much for taking the time. Great work, my friend. We appreciate you. Cheers.